Back in the day, a monitor meant just one thing, an essential component for you to see what's on your computer. These days, a monitor is so much more. It's a multi-purpose display. And if you get a really good one, the possibilities are limitless. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And in this video, I'm going to show you how one monitor can be all you need for work, play, and everything in between. In this video, I partnered with Huawei to check out the new MateView, a 28.2 inch 4K plus IPS display, or more simply put, an excellent do-it-all monitor, which is why I'm going to use it as an example in case you're looking for one. <laughs> Let's start with the basics. In the age of working from home, a lot of us, me included, have considered buying our first monitors. And I get it, all day on your laptop, having to look down like this isn't great for the neck and your posture. Trust me, a few months into lockdown and I got really bad back pain. So I looked it up and experts recommend that you look straight. I like that on the Huawei MateView, apart from being able to adjust the tilt, you can adjust the height of the display so that what you're working on is always at eye level. No need for monitor stands or books even, regardless of how tall you are or what your desk setup is like. Now, if productivity is a priority and you're looking for a monitor to actually get some work done, remember that while monitors come in different screen sizes, the number that you should be paying attention to is aspect ratio. The ratio between width and height. While 16 by nine widescreen monitors are quite popular these days, when it comes to getting things done, I prefer monitors that are taller instead of wider, or preferably one that can balance both. The MateView, for example, has a three by two aspect ratio, meaning it's still reasonably wide, but it's also tall enough to fit what you're working on. On my Mac, I have an app called Magnet, which lets me easily arrange windows into tiles on my screen. So here I can have a whole page of my script displayed in one half, a PDF about the mate view on the top right, enough space for a third document where I place random notes. If you edit videos, it also means that if your timeline has a lot of layers, you can see them all at once. Here's a mock-up of what you might see with a 16 by nine display. And here's what you can see with the MateView's three by two aspect ratio. You basically get 18.5% more content on your screen. Moving on, if your work entails a lot of editing photos and videos, then these next few specs are important. 4K plus resolution, 98% DCI P3 color gamut, 1 billion colors, HDR, and 500 nits of brightness. In normal people speak, that means a high resolution, color accurate display. Capable of displaying high dynamic range content, which all are things that are important to creative professionals like me. On this channel, you hear me talk a lot about ecosystems and what this means if you purchase a lot of devices made by the same manufacturer, what happens is that it can sometimes open up plenty of new features and a new way of doing things easily. So say you own a new Huawei laptop, like the new MateBook 14S or the MateBook X Pro, one of their tablets like the MatePad 11, or a Huawei smartphone like the new P50 Pocket. You can use a feature called wireless projection, so you don't even need a cable. This is how it works. If you have a Huawei phone, just tap on the Huawei Share or One Hop icon, this one right here, and it will automatically connect to your display. You can choose to display what's on your phone or tap here to switch to desktop mode, which resembles more of a computer OS than a smartphone interface. 
Say I worked on a presentation on my MatePad 11 and want to be able to present it to a larger group of people. I can just swipe down on the control panel and tap the wireless projection icon to easily connect to the Mate view. If you have a Huawei M Pencil, you can also use your MatePad as a digital sketch pad for projects you're working on on your computer. While wireless projection is already built into Windows, manually connecting can take a lot of steps. But if you own a Huawei laptop, it's super easy to connect the two. From the Super Device menu on your Huawei control panel, just drag the floating Mate View icon to the computer at the center of the Super Device universe. And just like that, both devices are connected. Now, even if this is a wireless connection, the monitor is engineered in a way where latency or lag isn't noticeable. Of course, if you wanna go wired, there are a host of connectivity options for you. USB-C, HDMI, and mini display. I prefer USB-C because it also charges my laptop at the same time. And if you've worked with laptops and you wanna keep them closed, you need to make sure that they're constantly connected to power. MateView can charge any laptop that requires up to 65 watts. There's also a headphone jack if you would rather not use the front firing speakers. This port also doubles as microphone input. Finally, there are two USB-A ports for connecting things like a Logitech Brio webcam. Some of you might be wondering, okay, now that my laptop is closed shut and docked away, how do I actually make Zoom calls? Well, you can just plug in a webcam to the USB-A port on your monitor, and because this monitor supports pass-through, your computer will detect it. Great, now say your webcam doesn't have built-in microphones. What to do? Well, no worries. There are also two microphones built into the Mate View. Told you it was a do-it-all display. Of course, a work-life balance is important. So at some point, the work needs to stop so that the play can begin. And with the smart bar, it couldn't be easier. Let me raise the display so you get a better view underneath. This black strip over here is the smart bar and it responds to your touch. Tap once to activate and then swipe from left to right to view the different options. Tapping once again enters the selection Tapping twice goes back. So at the end of the day, when work is done, I can just tap, swipe, and switch between inputs. Or even easier, use a two finger swipe to switch between the different inputs. So for example, I can connect to my iPad where my Lego instructions app is already loaded. And just like that, I can continue my latest build project. Now an office desk isn't the only place for a mate view. It's light enough to move around. So say you don't have a TV, you could place it on a TV stand in your living room and connect something like an Amazon Fire Stick. And voila, the Mate View is also a 28.2 inch 4K TV. Say catching up on the latest episode of Book of Boba Fett on Disney Plus. Image quality is great and speakers are reasonably loud. And if you need to increase or lower the volume, a simple swipe on the smart bar is all it takes. I know a big screen TV is the ideal setup for gaming, but if you don't have the space or the money for one, this monitor will also do the job. You can just connect your favorite console via the HDMI port like I did to test the new Pokemon Arceus on my Nintendo Switch OLED. Here in the kitchen is another place in my apartment where inspiration and magic happen. And more and more, I'm finding that I do need a screen in my kitchen too. Whether that be for watching the news when I have my coffee in the morning, or to display recipes when I cook. What I'll normally do is pull up a recipe on my phone. Currently, I've been testing the new Huawei P50 Pocket. And using Huawei Share, I'll just tap here so I can view the instructions on the big screen. Oh, and remember I talked about being able to adjust the height of the display? Cause I'm standing when I'm cooking, I can just move it up to get it to eye level. I guess this is also a great time to talk about the sleek design of the new Mate View. I have carefully curated the appliances I have on my kitchen counter, and the sleek aluminum alloy frame and silver finish of the Mate View goes well with the rest of my stainless steel appliances. So in many ways, this monitor fits right in with my kitchen. 
As we wrap up, I hope that your biggest takeaway is that a monitor doesn't need to be just a display for your computer. If you're actually looking to get the best value out of your money, it's important to look for a device that can serve many different purposes. In this video, I gave examples of how I might use it in my space. But your needs might be different. That said, if you're looking for a display that can be both for work and play, you should definitely check out the new Mateview. I'll put a link to availability and pricing down below. Now I'm curious after watching this video, what have you learned? And more importantly, what is your favorite feature of the new Mateview monitor from Huawei? Sound off in the comments section below and you guys know the drill. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already and make sure you press or click on that bell icon so that you get notified every time and as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.